We're back with Sheriff Tony. There was an incident recently where you helped save a driver's life at a traffic stop. Well, yeah, it was, a, it was a late night, Jim. I was leaving the office and headed home, and just like everyone, we're in traffic. It's, it's South Florida. I was stuck at a light. I noticed a car pull up in front of me, and the light turned green. And there's, you know, I said, well, maybe the guy's texting. Give him a minute. Uh, maybe he's eating. Give him a minute. Uh, and it never changed. And all the horns start honking, including mine. And I say, hey, we got to get this guy moving. And the brake lights never flickered. Never, you know, he never came off the brakes. I said, something's wrong. So I called it in. I called 911. I said, hey, look, I'm going to go out and do an investigative stop and take a look. I have a, a vehicle that's occupied. There's no movement inside. I put on my vest, went up, and started just being a, being a police officer, being a cop. Uh, I noticed the man was slumped on over, over in the steering wheel, and you know I've seen this kind of before in my career. You know I said, okay, there, here's a guy who's drunk, all right. And here's a, luckily we're going to take a drunk off the road. And when I leaned him back, I noticed well he was changing colors. He wasn't breathing. I checked his pulse, and I said, all right, I got to get this car stable. So I shift the car in a park. Um, advised dispatch that I was going to be providing CPR that the man wasn't breathing, didn't have a pulse. Worked him for about four minutes. Uh, got him to breathe. Got a, a faint pulse. Uh, just went through standard protocols and examined them, watched them. Then he went out again, stopped breathing, uh, didn't have a pulse, so went through more cycles of CPR. Fortunately, uh, we were able to, you know, resuscitate him. EMS showed up. Uh, a few of my old Coral Spring police officers that I actually uh, used to train and work for me showed up, and we were able to transport him, and he survived. I had a chance to talk to him a few days ago on the phone, and he's in good spirits. So in addition to being a law enforcement officer, you now find yourself in the role of politician. Yes. You may hate that word, and, I, and don't take it offense that I have to call <laughs> you a politician, but you're on the ballot having to run uh, sure. for office, and you've shown remarkable strength in terms of fundraising ability. You've been, you've done well in the last few months of the of the year, sure. raising some money. You've had some big money donors Correct. sort of contribute in, a half million dollars, I believe, to a committee that's supporting you by Donald Sussman. Correct. Um, you know, who's a mega political donor, philanthropist, hedge fund guy. Mm -hmm. Why is why is Donald Sussman think you're so pretty? Listen, I I don't know if he thinks I'm pretty. I think he he thinks I'm qualified. Uh, look, it's been interesting, Jim. I, I've met people on every side of the political world and backgrounds, and what is happening in Broward County is people are starting to see the importance of having a professional public safety individual lead this agency, uh, and. There's nothing like proof of concept, right? I'm doing the job. You know, we, we've made the corrective measures in terms of all the deficiencies. Uh, I promoted from within the organization. Uh, the men and women have received the best raise that they receive in the last 20 years. And when they are happy and we are performing better, the entire community benefits from it. And so it doesn't matter if, if it's a Republican or Democrat. Or Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille O'Neal Sha gave or, or 10 Shaq, grand. Or, or the big monster, right? Shaq, I think everyone's uh, well, What excited. do you think is at stake in this election? What happens if the, the county decides to go back to Scott Israel as a sheriff? What do you think is at stake here? I think we repeat the mistakes of, that's occurred over the last 100 plus years in that this office becomes too political. We lose focus on the public safety aspect. The men and women of the organization suffer because they will be terminated, they will be removed, and it will go back to the good old boy system of favors and friends coming into this organization. Something that people don't talk about is there has been a culture in this organization for every sheriff to come in, including what Scott Israel did, to promote and bring all these people from outside the organization. That kills morale. I've promoted from within, and because I took that approach, Jim, we've had over 400 promotions in this agency. It's never happened. For the first time, the agency is being led by Broward County deputies. What do I mean? The command staff, we have over 200 years of institutional knowledge. That's why we're having success. I'm good, but I'm not that good. It's because I have enough strength and character to put the right people in place, give them the mission, and make sure that they execute it. Have you alienated the, the black ministers in Broward? No, not at all. You think you're good with them? Because I'm wondering, mm -hmm. because because a lot of them supported Scott Israel, but yeah. then again, a lot of them were also sort of benefactors, or sure. you know, they, they they sort of worked with Look, the sheriff's this department. Is, this they is worked part on of the that, payroll. This with is the part of that department. culture that we, we just described, right? About hiring people uh, for sake of politics, spending millions of dollars a year for sake of politics, bringing in friends, whether it be hiring pastors, whatever it may be, all these things had to come to a halt. I didn't bring in a squad of political uh, hires yet, right? But yet I'm still able to raise money. Yet I'm still able to get the message out. Yet I'm still able to perform. And the community doesn't suffer. 
the money that is in this organization, and I think we lose focus of this as sheriffs in this, in this office, you don't own it. It belongs to the taxpayers, and they're expecting you to put those monies to use to safeguard them and their families. Sheriff uh, Tony, I really appreciate your coming in. Uh, you know, we'll talk, I'm sure, more between now Absolutely. and Election Day. Absolutely. Have you come back? And, of course, I make this offer openly that if Scott Israel ever wants to come down here and sit here, we'd love to interview him. Matter of fact, would you be willing to even sit across from him and do a debate? Why not? Look, I think it's time that the community has a legitimate debate so that the candidates that are out there can talk about real issues and the significant changes that's occurred. I have nothing to hesitate to speak on in terms of performance because we've done more work in the last year than what's occurred in six years under my predecessor's regime. All right, Sheriff Tony, again, thank you for coming in. We'll be right back after the break. Thank you.